Hey, how's it going folks? Tim Hyven on Wisconsin Finlander Guys Service. Just got off the river today. Today kind of stung. Missed two really, really nice steelhead on my switch rod. Not all too happy about that. Had a couple of people move in. Just, a, I know I missed last week the pro tip of the week. One of my biggest tips that I'm going to have this week is if you see somebody working a hole, especially with a pin, a spay rod, a switch rod, don't just horn in on them. Even if you're across the bank, take a couple of seconds, see where they're actually working, and don't cast right on top of them. It's hard enough with a spay rod and a switch rod to get one swinging, and that extra pressure that you can put on those fish is it going to make the person on the other side of the bank happy? No. Also, if you're using inline spinners, I don't know about a lot of guys, I prefer the little bit smaller ones. Don't, it's not king season. You don't need to be hucking a three, four inch inline spinner. Which, yes, I've seen that in also husky jerks this year. We're not walleye fishing, guys. It's steelhead. Not saying you can't get them on it, but there's a lot more productive ways. Also, a little bit of an update with the removal of the Esserbrook Dam. They're working on it today, but it seems like they're, I wouldn't say getting to completion, but the water did dirty up a little bit, but nothing compared to the last week. It was definitely tolerable fish still bit, and also did notice a pile of fish porpoising, which is going to tell me in about one to two weeks, you should start seeing fish on gravel if you haven't already on the smaller rivers. Another tip of advice or tip of the week, this one is from Body Armor Sports Drinks. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me why have you been promoting this and what's the deal with it. So many times I have clients cramp up on the rivers, especially on full days where we're walking upwards of five miles. Hydration is key and this Body Armor light only has six grams of sugar i don't know about you but it's pretty hard to find a good taste and hydration drink that isn't fully loaded with sugar uh besides that yeah i'm ready for the boat i'm getting sick and tired of up and down weather conditions ready for nice warm sunny days on the boat but with that being said, steelheading, it looks like it's going to go well, well into April. We've just seen the first batch and a half of fish move up. We haven't had rain in quite a while. I would say almost, geez, three weeks almost. But Noah is calling a change to that. Looks like Monday, Tuesday, we're supposed to get some rain snow mix. Temps are supposed to warm up, so free fly rotters. Now is the time if you're going to book a trip, book it. Next couple of weeks are going to be phenomenal for the long rotters, guys that want to drift bobbers and spawn, bobbers and tubes, learn the basics. This, I would say, you got about two, two and a half weeks left of prime bobber fishing. But if you guys want a trip, by all means, give me a call or head over to my website or Facebook page and shoot me a message.